I'm joined by a beautiful lady, Kim, Kim Makombe. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well, thank <laughs> you. She's a songstress. She sings, so she's got, uh, you know, she probably will be serenading us with, with song. I'll find a few minutes okay. for you to sing for us <laughs> before we call it a day. Now, Kim, when did you get into this music space? Why music? Why singing? All right. So for me... Music is more than just an art form. It's a platform to communicate, uh, you know, breaking the barriers of gender and space and um, race and all of that. So I started in 2019 full time, uh, but I wasn't very consistent. <laughs> so I rebranded in 2021 and it's been fireworks since. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Thank you. And um, what kind of genre do you sing? So I'm an experimental pop artist, which okay. is my excuse to say I can pretty much sing anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I lean more towards R&B, um, a bit of Afro pop, and then sounds that you've never really heard before. Yeah. So because I've got Afro r and I've got trap jeet, like, it's mixed up like that. Is it? And you know, when you're writing your songs, when you're singing your songs, what is your inspiration? What inspires you? Do you write your own songs? Yes, I do. Okay. What, what's your inspiration? So it's the human experience as a whole. I am an empath, so I whenever I have I have conversations with people mm -hmm. or just I'm very in touch with my own emotional space as yeah, well wow. so I, I draw from those experiences and write about it so now it's, it's become so intense that I even write for other artists as well oh wow so it's exciting time that is actually really good so Thank this you. emotional like emotion to come go to help so that or you be touched like, you're funny enough, like after me. the heartbreak, my, my, my producers actually called me up like, hey, I know we've got, you know. <laughs> you've got content. You've got content. <laughs> <laughs> Come through. Come through. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I know what you mean. I yeah. know what you mean when you talk about emotions <laughs> and stuff. So talking about emotions, yes. how did you feel? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you had a song on BBC in yes. Leicester. Yes. How was that feeling? And how did you actually get, that's a huge platform, that. Yeah. So how did you get there? That was huge. Uh, so I have an amazing management team. Okay. Shout out to Clue Media. And that was the first first song after the rebranding okay so before it was even out played on BBC and I was blown away really and the fact that you know like I was saying music just goes beyond borders it doesn't Absolutely. matter where you are um, so that was just like really eye-opening to say you know this is the dream and I'm walking in it yeah, <laughs> yeah. and more more uh, prospects obviously on, on being in BBC and, and things like what is your your wide range when you see yourself so I am a very big creative brand coming out of Zimbabwe. Definitely a global superstar <laughs> from Zim. The whole idea is to just put Zimbabwe on the map because we have so much talent, we have so much to give, and uh, the world should be ready to see what we have to offer. You're absolutely <laughs> right. I do believe in that. How many projects have you done? So I have 11. The 12th is on the way. But wow. then I've just released the 11th one last week. That's, that's uh, when you say 11th one, 11th song, 11th album, 11th what? 11th song. You see wow. how I was like, <laughs> <laughs> consistent. <laughs> but it's been exciting. So it's the 11th song. And uh -huh. one of them is a feature, I think my biggest song, uh, which was a feature with XQ. Mm -hmm. How was sure. that? How did you get to, to do that? That was grace, really. <laughs> so we work with the same producers, and then uh, sometimes when you're fooling around in the studio and then you're playing your unreleased music, you're like, well, hey, let's actually work on this track together. So it was one of the biggest career moves I've had so far. And talking about career moves, I mean, you've had the opportunity of performing at different festivals yeah. and also at the State House. Tell us yeah. about the festivals and how, how that is shaping up your career. So the festivals are definitely very big because you know how they always make sure the lineup is diversified. So just that experience of showcasing my art in mm -hmm. front of so many people and uh, people who understand the art form has been really exciting. So mm -hmm. oh, one door is open, it opens more doors. Yeah, and that's <laughs> yeah. good. And the festivals that you've been on are which ones? So I've been on Amplifier Festival uh, okay. that was held by Plot Marco and Ear Ground. That was my first one. Mm -hmm. And then Jacaranda Music Festival, performing with XQ. Um, and then I think that's pretty much it on the ones titled festivals. But I've been also on Unplugged. I've been on... Um, the cookout it's, mm. it's been it's been exciting wow really. you've been a busy girl haven't I've you i've been i still am <laughs> yes and you still are <laughs> Making and that's the like, exactly and that's absolutely fantastic <laughs> you. um you were also at the state house what was what was that about tell us about that experience all right so it was the ed unza scholarship fundraising dinner in mm -hmm. 2022 and um, that was very big because you know one thing it's one thing to dream of performing um, and 
just realizing that you're in the highest office of the country yeah. just shows that, you know, uh, the dream is working. I'm yeah. always saying the dream works. So that was really exciting. And being the only singer at the event um, with an amazing, amazing group of musicians as well, it was epic. <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. And Thank that's you. just like a great boost hey, yes. for yourself, for your career. And mm -hmm. obviously you have um, some young ladies who are looking up to you or young yes. men who are looking up to you and love what you're doing. What kind of, what words do you have for them? All right, so mm -hmm. I would say uh, what matters more than anything is deciding what you want for yourself and going for it no matter what. I am learning very much how important it is to be certain about what you want. Mm. And I'm always saying the dream works, which basically means that when you have a dream, go for it. The doors will open up once yeah. you're moving. Don't yeah. be scared, just Don't do be, it. Just do it, yeah. do it, yeah. That's absolutely fantastic. So speaking yeah. on this, uh, the music uh, space in yes. Zimbabwe, Yes. what is your assessment of it? How are we, um, our, in terms of our growth mm -hmm. and you know our pros and our cons, yes. what is your assessment of our music space in Zimbabwe? Well, based on what I've been seeing, I think we are ripe and ready. Right. <laughs> so I am a very big music business fanatic. I'm also uh, the Zimbabwean partner to Music Business Academy for Africa, which is based in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So when the whole copyright issue started coming up, yeah. that just really made me realize that we are ready because it's only when people realize there's a knowledge gap that you know, it's, it's now time to reconstruct the industry and actually yeah. make sure that it employs as many people as possible because music is tourism, yeah. music is, is, is business. Yeah. So at least we are in a very nice, exciting spot right now. I love how you're <laughs> saying music is business and it's really exciting. How, what's your business model pertaining to your business, to right. your singing? Yes, mm -hmm. so for me, um, I understand that the business is not necessarily in the music itself, okay. but in the things that surround it. So we are looking at uh, the songwriting side that I mentioned. Uh, we're looking at building structures. Oh, yeah, and then do sell your songs to yes, some people, right? exactly. Okay. So there's a lot of admin work that goes into that. There's publishing, which most people don't really realize because every song has two streams of income. I'll go on and on and then <laughs> tell us and delve more into it. We still yes, have like three minutes. Right. Two, uh, he says every song has two, two streams of income. Okay. Yes. So there's the stream of income that comes through the masters, which is the actual recording. Okay. And then there's the streams of income that come in through publishing, which is the songwriting and the producer side of things. Right. So people are always focused on royalties, at, which is a term that they use, you loosely use. Right. Uh, and they focus more on what comes from the actual recording. But they don't realize that every songwriter is entitled to 50% of... Um, of that song. Of that song wow. from the publishing side. So all of these platforms, like even when you get paid from YouTube directly, mm -hmm. there's also some money that goes to platforms like Capasso or Zamora yeah. from YouTube as well. So people pretending don't, to that pretending song. to that specific wow. song. So there's a lot of money, guys. I know, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, you know, some people just say, I just want to sing. And exactly. they don't know that there's so many intricate details so, going yeah. on. But I hope you'll have some workshops. That's like another avenue that you can Definitely. kind of bring. Yes. Workshops and teaching us what this is all about. I'm up for it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Um, five, five things that you can kind of uh, take, take home. Five things you can say. All right. Uh, or maybe before the five things, just sing something for us quickly. All right. Ah, serenade me. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, one of my songs called Time. Got to do what you're supposed to. If you don't try, you will never know. Go slow on the road, don't stop, baby. Yeah. If I'm running late, Sunday meet it up. If they're running late, Sabba meet it up. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. So beautiful. Thank Your you voice so is just gorgeous. Thank you. Two words now, because we're running out of time. Yes. Uh, dream big. Dream big. <laughs> dream big. Dream big and make it happen. Make it happen. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Kim, thank you so much for joining us right here on Morning Rush. It's been an absolute pleasure. I think you are a wealth of intelligence, thank a you. wealth of great talent. And keep it up and soar, baby. Soar. Thank you. Thank konapo, konapo. Ipapo, ipapo, pa ZTN Prime. DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.